The North Gauteng High Court in Pretoria has suspended the removal of Tswane Mayor Stevens Mokhalapa and Speaker Katleho Matebe pending a full review. The Democratic Alliance brought the application following a heated motion of no confidence by the ANC and the EFF. The DA argued that the process was flawed and wanted the court to reverse the decision. In case number 91569 stroke 19, the effect of the following actions taken by the first respondent, the City of Chwane Metropolitan Municipal Council, the Council, are suspended pending the final determination of review proceedings to set such actions aside. The decision to appoint the 10th respondent, Obakeng Ramabudu, as acting Speaker of the Council. The adoption of a motion of no confidence in the second respondent, the Speaker of the Council, Councillor Katlejo Matebe. The adoption of a motion of no confidence in the third respondent, the Executive Mayor of the City of Chwane Metropolitan, Metropolitan Council, Councillor Stevens Mohalapa. The applicant's application for review must be instituted within seven days of the date upon which this order is granted and served promptly thereafter. In case number 92212 stroke 19, uh, the following resolutions passed by the first respondent, the City of Chwane Metropolitan Municipality, the City, are suspended pending the final determination of the relief sought pursuant to Part B of the applicant's amended notice of motion dated 16 December 2019, pages 113 to 117 of the record. All resolutions passed by the City at a City Council Special Council meeting on 5 December 2019. All resolutions passed by the City at a Continuation Council meeting on 5 December 2019, continuing an earlier Ordinary Council meeting of November 2019. In both cases, both case number 916569 stroke 19 and case number 92212 stroke 19, the costs incurred to date are reserved for later determination. Earlier, our reporter Molema Wawene Motua was in court and got some reaction from the ANC. What are some of the decisions that have been suspended? The decisions, according to the judge, that uh, they are very bizarre. We are told that the, uh, uh, the sus uh, decisions taken on the 5th of December are suspended pending a review. Now, a review that we don't know because there's no review application in court. The judge said the review must be submitted within seven days. What we are saying is that how did the judge determine that there must be a review process when there is no review application? That's also very bizarre, according to us. But we will wait, we will respect the justice system. What we don't understand is what the DA is really is buying time for because it's inevitable. The parties that are here don't want the DA. The DA doesn't have majority in council. People don't want them on the ground. So we don't understand why they hang on power. Perhaps it's the salaries that are coming on the 31st of December 2019 that the DA is holding on to. So the DA is a, 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 a doctor, I mean that they, Abel Tau remains the acting mayor. We don't know because the, no council has appointed Tau to be acting mayor. Perhaps if you can remind me which council meeting appointed him, maybe I'll say yes. As far I didn't miss any councils this year and in all council that I attended there was never Mr. Tau who was appointed. In fact, Mr. Mukhalapa, the erstwhile mayor of the city of Tswani, applied for leave and the leave was rejected officially in council. So if your leave is rejected yourself at SABC, would you think that they'll put somebody while you are at work? They won't put somebody. So according to Council Mukhalapa went absent without official leave. Maybe he's in a guest house, maybe somewhere, maybe he was enjoying during the holidays, other things that he did on the audio, we don't know. What we know is that Abel Tau was never appointed by any council. Mukhalapa is absent without official leave. We saw that he submitted a, a, a confirmatory affidavit here saying that he is the mayor of the city of Tuani. Now, if he's saying he's the mayor, how then Tau does become another mayor when we have a mayor? The DA has fudged all processes. The DA is undermining the intellect of 
of our people in our city and on the 3rd of January we will restart the whole process and remove each and every person of the DA that have put there. Then we will see how they go about the lawfare and trying to do all the things and men of in window they are doing here in courts to frustrate the process and service delivery on the ground. Because what is important and what the DA is doing now is that it's frustrating the poorest of the poor who are hit by floods in Mamilodi, people who are not having any water in areas of Kalinen, uh, Retabiseng, people in Lodiam, Itireleng, and people in Soshanguve who uh, uh, experience cable theft every day, people in Hamaskran who are still drinking water that has E. coli, that is not fit for human consumption. So the problems are insurmountable, but the DA is coming here to court to play with judges and play many other things. We will watch the process, but the ANC in the end is going to go to the Chief Justice and actually report this matter end to end where it started and where it ended because there were a lot of gaps in this and the judge ignored each and everything in that but we want the review of that ourselves as well. Okay. Thank you. There was uh, Dr. Hoshimae Pade and seemingly the legal wrangle will still continue to rage on. Let's continue with the story now. I'm joined on the line by advocate Silo Alcock. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News. If you can speak to us about the effect of the suspension of those actions taken in the Tswane Council in the North Gauteng High Court today. Hi, thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, my, um, my understanding of, of, of that order is... is it, 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 it seems as if uh, the order that was being sought was in two parts. So uh, what effectively the court has said is um, the, an interim interdict uh, w would be granted pending an opportunity uh, for the Democratic Alliance to then bring uh, a full-on review under uh, the auspices of our administrative law. Um, and, and, and so um, in essence, um, it, it just then sort of means that the status quo um, is restored, um, and then the DA has to then approach the court within seven days or soon thereafter, as the, uh, the Nana Judge uh, Tuchten said, um, to then bring a, a proper review application to set aside those, those uh, decisions that were taken, because um, in the strict sense of the word, that is the, the area of the law that allows you to set aside decisions. Mm. So, if I'm understanding this correctly, it means, what does that mean for Stevens Mokhalapa until the DA goes to court again? For now, for all intents and purposes, he still retains the position. Mm -hmm. uh, because in essence, as I said, the status quo will remain. Uh, because effectively the order, the order says that the, the position as it is, it was before um, heading to court would be restored. So in, 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 in simple terms, Zinga, he, he still will remain in his position until that review um, has been instituted. Sure. So the ANC representative raised that issue of a review application, seemingly quite angry about it, saying that eventually the ANC will go to the Chief Justice to complain. Talk to us about what the issue may be around a review application sure. if, and if what we saw was normal. Sure. Um, uh, and let me put a disclaimer, my sister, on this one, because there was an order and there are reasons for that order, which um, due, uh, due to the short, you know, short space of time, I haven't had a, an opportunity to read those. So mm -hmm. I'm going to be careful so that I do not enter the realm of uh, speculation. But what, I, what I'm articulating is that in law, you're not precluded from bringing an agent application in two parts. Where, where you say, I want to set aside this decision, can you, can you hang five? And then you ask the court effectively to, to do what the, the DA did, condone uh, non-compliance with rule, rules, say the matter's agent, and then suspend all, 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 uh, all conduct, let me call it that, until I can then bring a, um, a, a review. So the gaps that, uh, that uh, I heard the, the ANC member speaking about gaps, I, I, I would uh, hesitate to enter that, that terrain because mm. I haven't seen the reasons for judgment. But, but effectively, I'm stating to you what the, the legal position does not preclude one from, from bringing um, 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 a request for an interdict or interim release that says, help me now, but I intend to set this aside. Mm. But if I do not, in fact, the test is clear is that I'm asking the court to come to my assistance so that no harm or, 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 or unlawfulness occurs while I wait to set aside the, 
that decision because I believe it's unlawful. Mm. So the law does allow it. Uh, it does allow it. it. I mean, it's a sound. It sounds like uh, not having seen the notice of motion, it was relief that was asked in two parts in that in that sense. And uh, I would hesitate to then enter the realm of speculating okay. about these gaps that the, the leader of the ANC is referring to. Let's talk about uh, more general principles in law, the separations of power, and how some are raising the issue that if this is an issue for the Tswane Council, it shouldn't be going to court and, and it should be resolved within there. Does that make sense? It, well, I mean, it, I think we, we, we can agree that there is a, there is a principle of, of separation of powers. We, we agree that there are, there, are certain, there are certain decisions that should be left to, to, to in the tri politics, must be left to the legislature or the executive. We, we sort of understand that and we're clear about that. But I, I think fundamentally here that, that question, you're, 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 it's very, uh, very um, I think precise question you're asking will then be answered when the review comes because there are certain um, um, uh, 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 certain conduct rather that is, is it, it falls outside the ambit of of, of, of a review uh, and certainly in terms of of PISA, uh, which is executive decisions. To that without having to sort of speculate that, that will be will have to be one of the things that will have to be canvassed is, is that does the sort of conduct fall within the remit of, of, of decisions that can be reviewed. So I think you're, you're posing a very, a very uh, nuanced question, which is, you know, and I think that the next court may very well have to be seen with that question. Advocate Sela Alcock, thanks so much for your time on SABC News, and we'll be speaking to you a little bit later on as that case develops and we get uh, more questions or answers.